What's going on to my sneaker community out there? First of all, I want to give a shout out to all the new subs on the channel. It seems like I was just doing a video not too long ago where I had got to 100 uh, subscribers. And as of today, man, I'm at 180. And I see y'all, man. I get an email sent to me from YouTube every time there's a new sub. And it tells me, you know, the name of the sub and all of that, man. So I know y'all. I know who you are. And I appreciate it. Um, but we're at 180. Let's try to get to 200. Let's set realistic goals. I know I said I was going to get to a million a while back. <laughs> Uh, that, 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 that seems to be out of reach, but yo, I'm not kidding you. Uh, the one handed unboxings is going to get me there. I'm telling you, I will be the first sneaker YouTuber or shoe tuber or whatever you want to call it. That gets to a million just because of one handed unboxings. And y'all will remember it. Y'all will be day one with me. I know 706 kicks is, but look, I got a new knife. All right. If y'all watched the previous one-handed unboxings y'all would know this is nice already got something on it y'all would know how crappy my other knife was but this guy right here is gonna get the job done all right i don't know what's in this box i have been ordering shoes i have been hitting on shoes left and right man i'm not gonna lie i've been hitting on shoes left and right i'm hoping what's in this box is what's in this box because we are about to go to orlando and i bought me a shoe that is tropical in nature for the vacation so let's see what this is right here a little one-handed unboxing oh yeah and don't cut towards yourself like i was just doing you always need to cut away from the box look at that oh this is a lot yeah this is a lot better i'm digging this knife look at that just carve it up man carve it up all right Let's see here. Let's just put that over there. All right. Let's check out what we got in here. Every time we do an unboxing, it's like Christmas morning. Uh, maybe this isn't the shoe. I don't know. Hey, man, that piece of tape right there ain't kidding. That was not kidding. This is like a different box. Hold on. Did I get some more of them trash shoes? I think I did. I think I did get some more of those trash shoes. But I don't think these. So look. New box right here. Move to Zero is Nike's journey towards zero carbon and zero waste to help protect the future of sport. Move to Zero. This product is made with at least 20% of recycled content by weight. So let's see what it is, all right? Let's see what it is. It is the, oh yeah, this is them. The Nike Air Max 95. Focus camera. NRG, coconut milk and green glow. Now I got these in a size 12 because in, in Air Max 95s, I always go a half a size up. They fit kind of tight. So if, you, if you're looking to get an Air Max 95 and you've never owned a pair, make sure that you go a half a size up unless you like your feet fitting snug. There's all this stuff. On this. Oh, this is just all different languages and everything. Okay. Um, but yeah, go a half a size up unless you like them fitting snug. I always do on a 95. So opening up the box. Okay. QC sticker, 706 right there for you. What is that? That's even got a date stamped in it. Okay. Peel them back the paper and let's take a look at the shoe. Yes, sir. There they are. Woo! I love them. I love them. Got the tropical vibes, man. All right, let me take them out of the box real quick and we'll do a quick review on them. Hang on one second. QC. All right, y'all. So here they go. These are the Air Max 95. NRG Happy Pineapple. Okay, that's the name of the, these are called the Happy Pineapples. This is a very interesting shoe because, well, I'll talk about it in a minute. I'll, I'll talk about it in a minute. These are gonna go good in Florida, baby. Walking through Hurricane Elsa. <laughs> I'm hoping that thing blows through. Uh, we're not leaving until next week, so hopefully it'll be gone by then. But getting into the, to the outsole right here, 
you do have that you know recycled material that nike's putting into their shoes now so all of this is coming from things from scraps in the factory uh and that's how they're making the outsole of these shoes which is pretty cool i actually like the color of it to be honest with you it looks good and then there's that green glow love that love that color which got that uh kind of peach colored nike air on the inside i'm hoping y'all can catch that in the lighting but uh i love the outsole on this shoe getting into the midsole You've got the 95 uh, midsole where you've got the air bubbles up front and the forefoot. They are in that green glow as well. And you've got this kind of cell. Well, it's not cell. That's, that's kind of, that's white. You've got a white midsole. you got that green glow. you got that huge, you know, a 95 air unit in the back that's in the green glow all the way around the back. And then same on the medial side, okay? So there's your midsole. Now let's get into the interesting part, which is the upper. On your upper right here, you've got this 94430. You guys leave me a comment down there if y'all know exactly what these numbers stand for. I didn't do, and I typically do, I didn't do my research a lot on this shoe. There is one thing that I read on Nike about it when I purchased it I thought was pretty cool, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But I didn't see the reason for the 94430. So you guys, if y'all know about that, leave it down in the comments. But what I will say on the toe box right here you do have a very nice kind of it's it's almost like a felt suede material um i'm assuming it's you know part of the recycled piece as well but i, I hope y'all are catching that i mean it is a very kind of nice you know like i said it, it feels like felt on a, on, a, on a pool table and i've used that to describe shoes a couple of times but that's the truth and then you get into the part that that you know that 95s are known for you've got basically this like tan uh color right here at the bottom then in the middle you've got more of a cell kind of colorway or actually a light cream and this is the really cool part so this part right here i thought it was cork but in reading about it on nike this is actually made from uh pineapple plant leaves so it's re it's, it's actually this is a real pineapple so the plant leaves or whatever from the pineapple have been crushed up and I'm not saying this whole thing is, is pineapple leaves, but it's mixed in with this material. So I actually read that on Nike. That's, that, to me, that's pretty cool. And then I love this swoosh right here. I love the color of it. It's that kind of like a teal green, ocean green color. Then you've got this really nice cream color running across the top. You've got your mesh right here. Your mesh netting for the breathability. And then you've got this, uh, you know, teal green here. And then on this side, you've got like this kind of fruit punch looking color. So the shoe, in my opinion, is straight up tropical. I love it. I, lo I think it's going to be a great vacation shoe for me to wear down, down in Orlando. And, oh, and another thing that I think is really, really cool about it. Look at the tongue. The tongue's got the little happy pineapple, right? Where it typically has Air Max right here. You know, it's got the pineapple with the uh, with the swoosh embroidered in. All that's embroidered into the tongue. It does come with cell laces right here. Your tongue is, you know, the, the normal Air Max material, except for this. This is that felt running up. Typically, this is in 3M uh, on your Air Max uh, 95. But your insole, um, your insole is cork. So you have a cork insole, and then your sock liner is, is basically like that white cream color. Nothing behind, nothing behind the tongue there. But yeah, an overall clean shoe. I'll sh show the back real quick. You've got that Nike Air and that, I keep calling it fruit punch. I mean, it just looks like a, I won't say pink, but it kind of is like a pinkish red. But I, man, I think this cool. I, it's cool. I think this shoe is cool. Remember, I don't edit my videos, y'all, because I'm real. Speaking of real, y'all tell me this real quick. Why do people why do people start off YouTube videos with don't buy this shoe until you watch this video? Y'all answer me that. If I put don't buy this shoe until you watch this video, does that mean you won't buy this shoe until you watch my video? Because if so, then I need to start doing that all the time. That means you'll watch my, my videos more often, right? But anyway, 
Hey, I hope y'all had a great 4th of July. We enjoyed it. We had a great time. Had There was an awesome fireworks display that we went to last night. Keep an eye peeled. I'm still talking about doing the sneaker sale. I've got to get up in the room and actually film that video. It's going to take a while to do that uh, because I have quite a bit of shoes. But I know some of you guys are, are waiting on it. Uh, Dale, Decat. If you guys are still watching, I hope you get your uh, neutral grays in today. Y'all let me know in the comments if you like them. But look, a quick look at the at the, at the Happy Pineapples. I got these off of Nike.com. I think there's still a few sizes left if you want to go out there and look. But I believe they're all smaller sizes. I think all the men's, the larger sizes are sold out. But I could be wrong. They could have restocked them. Uh, but last time I looked, these sizes like this were sold out. They, had, they only had like the youth left. So yeah, man. One last look, the Happy Pineapple, the Air Max 95. I'm digging this shoe, man. Y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think about it. And again, we're at 180, baby. Get me up to 200. Let's go. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Until next time, peace.